What's up guys? Welcome back to the workshop. It's great to have you here. Now hopefully a lot of you guys saw yesterday's video where I forged this axe. Today we're going to be making a handle for it. The wood I'm using today is hickory. Hickory is a great wood for both axe and hammer handles. It's extremely strong and durable. Um, not everyone has access to it depending on where you live in the world. So other hardwoods like ash and elm work fine too. One important thing about axe handles is it's better to make the handle out of five quarter wood because um, you generally want a nice thick palm swell at the bottom of the handle. It just helps with the grip. And another important thing about axe handles is you want the grain to be running this direction. You don't want it to be running like this or you don't want it to be quarter sawn. Uh, it makes a lot stronger axe if the grain is running this way. This is just a little template that I made. It's not necessary. The only reason why I did it is because I plan on repeating this design in the future. If you're only making a couple handles, you definitely don't need to do this. Um, you really could choose whatever design you want. This is just what I went with. I wouldn't do anything too crazy though with very large curves. I feel like that might compromise the strength of the handle. So now I'm just going to trace it out onto the wood. Now that I have the design traced onto the wood, I'm going to run over to the bandsaw and cut this thing out. Now we're going to start to roughly shape uh, the top of the handle to fit inside the eye. It's always better to start um, taking shavings from way down here instead of just working up here. Um, I like to start way down here and it kind of makes a more even transition in the handle. Now that I have the shape of the handle pretty close to the eye of the axe, I'm going to start refining it with the spoke shave. Now that the handle is all shaped up, we're just going to do a quick test fit. This isn't permanent. Um, I just want to see if there's any more material that I need to remove. It's pretty good so far. It's a little tight. I don't want to hit it too hard. I don't want to break the handle. So. I think I'm going to pop it out, remove a little bit more material, and it should be good to go. The easiest way to take the handle out of the axe is just by using a drift and having it loosely clamped in the vise. Doing this left some rub marks on the handle. This is where we need to remove material. I just did one more test fit, everything's where I want it. Now we're just gonna make a couple little marks right here and over here, just so we know when to stop cutting. So normally I would use my bandsaw for this, but something's going on with it. Um, it's cutting a little weird. I think I need a new blade.
everything's pretty much done. Uh, the only thing left is just to put the axe head onto the handle and drive the wedge in. So I'm going to put a little bit of boiled linseed oil on the top of the handle where the axe head will be, just because you can't really get to it once you put the head on. Now I'm just going to use a little glue to secure the wedge in place. You could use glue or you could use one of those metal wedges. Both work fine. I don't have any metal wedges right now, so I'm just going to use glue. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun making this. I just want to give you guys a quick comparison between this, which is the axe I forged in my first YouTube video, and this axe. Now this axe is really good. I'm proud of it. I worked hard on it. Um, but this axe is just better in every single way. I've learned so much since then. I've really improved, but I don't think you're ever really done improving or learning. I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. And don't forget to please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I post new videos just like this almost every single day, so you definitely don't want to miss out on those. I'll see you guys in the next one.